In today's video, I'll be discussing how you can increase your domain authority using ChatGPT. The first thing that I've asked ChatGPT is to scrape my website and tell me which backlinks would be best suited for my website based upon the niche and industry that my website is in. I do have the plugin mode enabled. I am using WebPilot, so you need to have a ChatGPT Plus account to do so. The first output that I got back summarized the websites that would be best suited for backlinking for my own website. So we get websites within the AI and technology space, content marketing and SEO blogs, writing and blogging platforms, business and productivity tools, and educational websites. So these would all be great websites and great niches for me to get backlinks to dependent um, on my website because that is what my website is all about. Next, I've asked ChatGPT to give me examples of these websites because we wanna get some actual websites that we can link to. And here's a list of websites within that space and it's categorized by the type of website. So we have AI and technology blogs, TechCrunch, Wired, AI Trends, Content Marketing and SEO Blogs, Moz, Search Engine Journal, and so on, Writing and Blogging Platforms, Medium, Pro Blogger, Business and Productivity Tools, Educational Websites, and we can click on any of these websites and we'd be able to see and go through that specific website. So now that we have a list of websites, I wanna take things a little bit further. So I've asked ChatGPT to list me from these websites, which websites allow you to guest post. If you're unfamiliar with what guest post is, essentially it allows you to post your content on a website and you will be able to get a link back to your own website. So it's a value-based approach because you will write content for a bigger website and then they will link back to your website or your product or your e-commerce brand. It's a pretty easy way for you to get a link because you're providing an article in return for a link. And what I've asked ChatGPT to do now is to list me websites that allow guest posting. So we can see here from that list, we now have a refined list of websites which allow guest posting. And if I click on that website, it will actually take us over to the right for me or the contact us page where you can get in contact with the website owners to figure out how you can write for them. If I click on the website site point, it actually takes me to the right for us section where I would be able to read and figure out what these websites are looking for in terms of content and um, kind of tailor make my content so that I have a higher chance of uh, being able to get a backlink from this website. So you can use this strategy for any website within your niche. And as you can see here, we can go through another website here, search engine journal again, Let's scroll down. Sometimes it doesn't take you to the right page, but if you wanted to, you can quickly search on that website, right for us, and you will be able to find and see if they are um, allowing uh, guest posting. So for example, Copy Blogger does allow guest posting and it takes us right to that website. And we can see what makes a great Copy Blogger guest post. We can go ahead and read all of these points and then we can submit our content to them. And if we follow their guidelines, we should be able to get a guest post in return. So that's how you'd be able to use ChatGPT to be able to get a fine tuned list of websites within your niche that are high quality, very relevant, but also allow guest posting. If you'd like to check out these prompts for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below this video for this chat and you can go through all of these specific prompts and use this workflow for yourself. So now that we have a list of websites that we know is relevant and allow guest posting within our niche, it's time for us to submit a request for a guest post. Now, depending on the website, you may have to um, submit the whole article or you may just need to submit um, an outline for that article. If you're lazy like I am, you can just copy over that content. Let's create a new chat. And then we can ask ChatGPT to summarize how to get a web post or a guest post from this website. So this is how we get a guest post. We need to be useful, be relevant, be well-written. Once you have a useful, relevant, and well-written post, you need to email and reach out to the copy blogger via their content form. Clearly explain the topic you'd like to write about and why you believe it's a good fit for the site. Consider including links to a couple of posts on your own blog post. Patience, be patient, da 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 and then um, just kind of wait until they get back to you. So for this website, we don't need to write the whole article, we just need to find topics for that specific website. An easy way to leverage ChatGPT to get blog post topics is by copying over the blog page. We're gonna head back over to ChatGPT and we're gonna ask um, ChatGPT using the web pilot mode to scrape this website and give us ideas for relevant and high quality blog post topics. The specific prompt will be read the website blog post topics section and give suggestions for other related high quality relevant blog post topics. 
So it's going to read that section and then it's going to give us related high quality topics that we can then send over to this um, webmaster or the owners of this website. Okay, so based on the recent blog post of Copy Blogger, it seems that they may have a focus on content marketing. Here are a few blog post ideas that could be relevant. Mastering the art of storytelling and content marketing. Overcoming writer's block, a practical tip for content creators. The role of SEO and content marketing, an in-depth guide, creating a content calendar. How to effectively repurpose content to reach a wider audience. As you can see, these topics are very high quality and very relevant to the topics of copy bloggers. So as you can see, you can find really high quality and relevant blog post topics and not have to think of them yourself. And then once you have those ideas, you can head back over to the um, guest post section and you can submit those topics and you can even include why or your rationale behind why you've chosen that topic, which we got back from ChatGPT. So now let's say, for example, you have another website, but they require you to submit the full article in order to figure out if you'd be able to be approved for their blog post. What you can do is, again, let's take all of the content from the Pro Blogger website, which talks about their guidelines for um, guest posting, and we're gonna pop this into ChatGPT. And again, I'm gonna ask it to summarize how to get a guest post on this site. So we see here, there's a period. So the submission period is open for 36 hours. Formatting, introduction, we need to include an intro for ourselves, relevant topics, your blog post should be on a topic that is relevant to pro blogger. Original content, response and selection, thick skin. So only submit your post if you have thick skin, as there's a chance that not all submissions will be used and participation, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now all we need to do is find a blog post topic that we wanna write about for this specific website. And again, I'm gonna use the same process. I'm gonna copy over this website, I'm gonna head over to the blog page. Now I'm gonna use the same prompt, which is read this website and give us some recommendations of high quality and relevant blog post topics. And while that's writing, I'm gonna scroll through their blog section. I'm gonna find a very popular blog post that they've written recently. So how to make money from your blog. This seems to be a pretty popular article. And I'm gonna copy over this link because we're gonna use this article that they've already written about and we're gonna try to extract the most important information, the most important content writing techniques that they've used, how they write their content, who their audience is, and we're gonna take all of that information and use it within our full article. So we're writing an article that's more catered for this specific website, which increases the likeliness for us to be able to get an approval of our guest post. So we got some topics here in which we can use, so these look pretty good. So now let's go ahead and extract the main writing style from one of their most popular blog posts. So I've entered that website and asked the AI to extract the writing style, tone, intended audience, format of writing, readability score, reading level, and overall the way that they write so that we can replicate it. So based on that blog post from Pro Blogger, here are some observations about the writing style, tone, intended audience, and format. Writing style, informative, tone, professional yet friendly, intended audience, bloggers, format of writing, readability score, overall writing approach and things in which we can do to replicate this style of writing. So now that we have a breakdown of how they write, we'll take that information and we'll feed it into the playground mode and then we'll write an article uh, based upon that topic that we got back from ChatGPT. So as you can see, we've really done no research of our own. We've used ChatGPT all of the way for us to be able to find websites um, that are high quality and relevant within our niche and then be able to figure out what we need to do to get a get guest post on those sites and then find topics that are relevant for that blog post and figure out their writing style so we can cater a article to the needs of that website. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. And now all you have to do is take that information, as I mentioned earlier, plug it into the playground mode or into ChatGPT and write it on any one of these topics. If you guys wanna actually see me write that blog post, then let me know in the comments below and I will create another video in which I show you how to go about writing that blog post, but you can follow any of the formats that I've shown you already, whether it comes to writing listicle or SEO optimized blog posts on this YouTube channel. So I hope that you guys got some value from today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.